All right, my beautiful friends. It is Friday, March 15th, 2019. As usual, we have to talk. Let, let's start off with the basics here. As I am doing this video blog, stocks are higher across the board. Not by much, higher nonetheless. But again, you know, it's the look here, don't look here. There is a pretty significant rally going on in the bond market. Uh, and, and what is that doing? That's forcing rates lower. The, the middle of the yield curve is, is a disaster area at this point. But no, no, no. Again, don't, ignore the bond market. Doesn't matter. Anyway, let's, uh, let's talk about a few other things. Let's discuss this because it's getting again to the point of a comedy show. We understand that uh, yesterday it was announced that, um, trade talks uh, were being pushed out to maybe sometime in April. The market didn't like that, as we witnessed. Um, but what happened is the narrative changed again. There's a target on it now. President Trump said about three to four weeks when he said that, stock futures went up triple digits. The market wants a target. Personally, I think this is a number that he pulled out of his head um, and it's going to be pushed off yet again. Uh, so don't be surprised when that happens. Let's talk about something else here. Um, industrial production, U.S. industrial production today. We got the numbers this morning. A gain of 0.1%. They're spinning this right now and I'll tell you how. We were expecting a gain of 0.4%. So they're trying to tell you that 0 0.1 is good. We missed the mark by a mile. But no, no, no. Look at the 0 0.1. Don't look at the 0 0.4 where we were supposed to be. It's a game of distraction. It's a game of lies. It's a game of propaganda. And that's the paradigm that we are in, people. It's very sad to see what is happening to our country, honestly. But this is it um, at the present moment. Things are going to change. There's no doubt about it. Things often have to get worse before they get better. But let, let's put a new, another perspective on this. So we got this abysmal round of economic news. Stocks are higher. This is how it's going to go. Again, we know how it's set up. The pawns are all in place here prop up the market, suppress rates, there's nowhere else to go. Um, so so it, it's just so simple. It is so simple to understand what we need to do, even when we need to do it, to capitalize on this market. Now, if you want to just have a look at what's going on here in the bond market right now, so make sure you put a really good pair of sunglasses on, better yet, a welder's mask. Uh, and click on the link in the description of this video. Take you to my website. Look at the bond market chart. Um, just be ready for it. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, with that said, let's let's watch how this market plays out the rest of the day. We do have a big options expiration um, event at the end of the trading day. We'll see how that affects the market. But again, I, we already know what's going to happen. Uh, we are going to get pullbacks in this market like we had recently. We, we capitalized on that. But the game is simple. Every single round of bad economic news is going to push stocks higher. Uh, narratives with regard to a China trade deal. Now it's three to four weeks. Futures were up triple digits. This is how it's going to be forced on you. Pushed down your throat uh, to make the market go higher. It's all that matters right now um, is higher market, higher market. You have to say, why? What's really going on? It's a setup, like I've explained to you last time. Inflate the bubble as high as they possibly can, then rip that plug out. Boom! Stocks fall, massive transfer of wealth. That's it. That's the complete setup. That is the plan. All right. See you at the end of the day.